Hey there, it's Elise, and it's Monday, and it is an awesome day for you to change your life and live the life by design that you have been dreaming about. And today, I'm going to talk to you all about a very bad habit that is quite possibly holding you back from the success that you so deeply desire in your life. And this is a common, common thing because it is culturally accepted. Can you believe it? So if you're participating in this, you're going to become aware of it after today's live stream video. And you're going to get out there and change it. Hey, Brandy. Thanks for joining. Hi, you guys. Yay. Hey, Michael. Uh, glad to see you all are here. Hey, Luz. You guys, go ahead down below and click that little person icon and then share it out with the people you want to see this awesome video today. If they can't watch it live, they can at least watch the replay later because I'll have it up on my fan page. Thanks, Sharon. I'm so glad you guys found me here on my fan page. My name's Elise Leininger and I am a success coach, a top leader in network marketing, and I have been in this industry for about 10 years, so I have a ton of experience to share with you. And I welcome all of you to join in and learn from some of these tips that I'm gonna to share today. And again, today's topic is about this bad habit that is holding you back from success, and you probably don't even realize it because it's culturally accepted. And that is called commiserating, also known as complaining. Now, we all do it, but to different degrees. And this was something that I became aware of a couple years ago. I used to complain or commiserate about everything. And commiserate simply means that you're talking about something negatively with somebody else. And some people call it getting things off their chest and they think therefore they're doing um, themselves a favor or maybe someone else a favor that they're sharing these negative thoughts about. This could be about the weather. This could be commiserating about the home. This could be commiserating about your job with the other employees that work there. Whatever it is that you are doing in a negative tone is commiserating, also known as complaining. And because it's culturally accepted, it's a little bit harder to become aware of that you're participating in it. So welcome to all of you that are joining. If you're just hopping on, click the little person icon so that you can notify your friends that will benefit from this lesson today on commiseration. Commiserating, in my opinion, is the employee mindset. It is not the entrepreneurial mindset. Entrepreneurs do not have the time nor the energy to waste on complaining or negative self-talk or talk with friends. Am I right? Do you guys agree with me on this point? And have any of you become aware of your word choice? I'd like to see your comments below. Absolutely. Hey, Natasha, glad you found me here. Um, Michelle says yes. You go by Michelle, right? I could never know because you have that C before your name. And Katie, hi. So you guys just hopping on, go ahead and click that little person icon at the bottom to share this out. This is a really powerful exercise to become aware of, or exercise, but discipline, let's say. Um, the next time you're at a social gathering, I want you to pay attention to all of the commiseration happening in the room, people sharing their misery, people relating to one another saying, oh, that happened to me too, wah, 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 right? You guys have probably heard this before. So I want you to start paying attention to what you hear happening around you. What do you hear when you go to dinner? at a, you know, maybe a surrounding table? What do you hear if you're in a coffee shop? What do you hear if you're an employee somewhere and you work somewhere and how is everyone talking to one another? Do they spend a lot of time in negative self-talk or talk about um, other people? Or perhaps doubting the leadership? If you are participating in that or allowing that in your team, in, if you're in network marketing or any entrepreneurial space, if you allow that in your team, you allow a culture of negativity and commiserating, guess what happens? It tears things down. We all spend a lot of time and effort on building things up. So one, one thing to do is become aware of the commiserating that is going on. If you're on chat groups and people start going negative, boom, shut that shit down. 
Yes, I said it. Shut it down because it has to be that powerful of a message from you as the leader. You cannot allow the drama, the commiserating or the negativity or the gossip in your organization or if you're an employee, wherever you may be, do not allow it. You must identify it when it's happening and then say, listen, we only have so much time in the day. We all are on a mission to live a life of freedom. So if you are talking about so-and-so or if you're getting in a negative mindset and you're allowing that to filter into conversation in our group, guess what? You are taking away from the other's mission. Everyone else only has so many hours in a day. They're probably parents. They may be employees building a side job. They may be somebody that has somebody that they're caretaking. We don't have enough time in the day to waste it. Are you guys with me on this? I kill you. I know, April, sometimes I have to go there. <laughs> okay, so commiseration is a bad habit. It detracts from your success and from the success of others. It is selfish. Do not commiserate. Don't participate in it and don't allow it in your environment. Whether that's your family, that's your own head, that's your group or your network that you're part of, or that's at your job. You show up and be the best version of yourself that you can be. Hey, Jake. Um, Jake, aren't you a manager in a restaurant? Go ahead and type it in. I think I think that you are. Hey, Nicole. I'm so glad to see you guys here. You're just so awesome. Um, so again, the next time you're in a social setting, pay close attention and listen to what you hear. How negative is the undercurrent? What's the culture? Does that group, and this can be referred to your church group, this can be your business, this can be your team in network marketing, this can be your restaurant, Jake, your employees at the restaurant. Are people allowing negative talk? And when people allow negative talk or gossip or drama and leaders don't shut that shit down, guess what happens? It grows. And when it grows, we have division, we have doubt, we have fear, and we have more drama and negativity that comes right along with it hand in hand. It's like skipping down the road to hell. <laughs> and we don't want that. We as leaders have to call it out immediately. And you don't have to be aggressive. You don't have to be rude. You don't have to call them out in front of everybody else and make a big scene. No. Be honorable. Pull them out and, you know, I mean, I'm sorry, call them out in maybe a more private way and say, listen, we are all here to build a business. We are all here at work. So in the restaurant, for example, Jake, we are all here because we need to connect and build biz or build this business. And if you're going to earn tips and take them home at night, then you need to be on point. You need to be your best self. And so does every single other person in this restaurant. We have to support each other's ability to shut down drama, gossip, and negativity and commiserating. For example, complaining about our workspace, right? And so if you can give your employees or your network or your team the words to say, so that they feel empowered to say, I'm not available to the drama, that takes away from my purpose here. My purpose here is to provide an income for my family. My purpose here is to show up and do my best. And when you're talking like that, it distracts me. And I don't do my best work. And there's nothing wrong with teaching people those words to say they need your leadership. That's why you're here on my podcast right now because you want to lead in that way, right? Am I right? You guys with me on this? Let's see your comments, takeaways, aha moments, questions, type them in. Okay, the amount of energy the average person spends in commiseration is totally mind-blowing. So as you go about your life this week, listen to the conversations happening around you. Work, lunch, home, it's everywhere, and it's a rare person who chooses not to participate. Remember what they say, the 95 percenters out there, most of Americans will not create a life of freedom. So where do you think the difference is for those who create the life of freedom and those who don't? It's all right here and it's discipline and it's awareness and all of you now have that. I'm expecting big things from each of you.
I know you're going to go out there. You're going to start building this culture. You're going to shut down the commiseration. You're going to watch your body language. Yes, Deanna, absolutely important. Watch your body language. People read body language almost as much as they, we hear words. So notice, I smile at you. I can't see you, but I know I'm connecting to each of you. I'm smiling at you. I am looking in the camera because it's almost as, as if I'm speaking to you as an individual. I get messages like that every day. It's like I'm speak. It's, it's they, I get these messages and they say, it's like you're speaking to me. Like, like me, right now, this applies so much. Yes. Why? Because I'm a spirit-led leader. What does that mean? I pray for God's guidance and wisdom so that I can show up with words to bless whatever it is that watches my videos or listens to my calls, whatever that sphere of influence is, that I will show up in a way that will bless you. And that's what I'm all about, okay? It's not about any other gain. It's just about supporting you to be your best because I know when you improve your life that you will go out there and improve your community and the world. And that's where you know I'm passionate because we need a bright, shining light in this dark, dark world, don't we? This deep, dark time. That's what we need is people like you. Hey, Barry, good to see you today. Um, so consider the amount of mental and emotional energy expended in commiseration. This is the energy that could be spent in creative pursuit, creative ideas, quiet reflection, improving what you're doing. This energy that might be used to solve a problem, implement an idea, market a product, right? Connect to other people, uplift them. Dispel that negative, deep, dark cloud that seems to be settling around the United States and the world even in, in light of all of these horrible things that have been happening, right? If you are participating and commiserating with others instead of participating or committing to creating, then you're really not improving things out there. And I know you want to improve things. There's a reason that you are attracted to me and my message. I am confident in that. God has placed that upon my heart. And I am not embarrassed to go out there and share this messaging because I know that you turn around and take action. I know you do. I hear about it. I hear about the stories of success and how you're changing things in your lives. And it fills me up. I know that's what God has placed me here on this earth to do. And we are all uniquely gifted. I believe that. But you can't hide your light right? You know that. You can't hide it. And that is what probably the biggest, um, most impactful statement I can make for you today. Do not hide your light. Do not self-doubt. Do not talk yourself out of connecting to another person on some level when you see them and you feel that prompting. Take action. I call it the five second rule. The moment you're prompted, take action. The moment you notice somebody who looks down and out, Buy him a coffee, buy him a pop, buy him something. Extend your helping hand. Do something. Whenever I'm even downtown and I see homeless people, I always have snacks with me and I give them to them and I look them in the eye and I smile at them because most of their days are spent ignored. And I do my best to show up and lift people up no matter where I am. I go to the checkout counter and the girl looks tired. I compliment her for the very good attention that she gives me during our transaction. When I go to a restaurant and I have my um, server who serves this beautiful meal that I feel so grateful to afford and so grateful to eat with my family, I interact with my server. I am kind to them and I always leave them at least 25% tip, always. Because I know it uplifts them. I know that they are putting themselves out in doing the work that they do and they're doing a good job. And I like to give people positive feedback. So I'm so hopeful that you guys will take some lessons today and go out into the world and do what you can to have a positive impact, okay? So what do you think? Do you guys like this topic today? No more commiserating, let your light shine bright, get out there and do something and do it big. And don't be afraid, don't be shy, don't worry about what other people think. Listen, I get feedback all the time from other people saying, I can't believe you put yourself on video all the time. I can't believe that you put, you have your um, picture on all those graphics on your fan page. I couldn't do that. I'm like, whatever, who cares? This is me and my personality. And apparently people need it <laughs> because they keep coming back for more. 
And um, so yeah, I'm all, I I every day I'm about to go live. I struggle with oh my gosh, somebody's gonna think this is stupid. And then I think, you know what? I'm not doing it to change that one person who thinks it's stupid. I'm doing it because you need it. And so I hope and invite you to click the share button. Let other people hear this message. Let them know they have a big mission in the world too, just like you do. We all do. It's not just for me to do or Natasha to do or somebody else. You know, it's for each of us, each of you showing up on this um I keep calling it a podcast. Each of you showing up on this video today, it's for you to do. That's why you felt compelled to watch this, all right? <laughs> so thank you, I'm super excited that you guys like this message. I mean, here's my question to you. When you watch these videos, they motivate you, I know it. Do you take action? Do you implement change? What do you do after you watch the video? I wanna see that below. Go ahead and comment below. And make no mistake, breaking the habit of commiseration with others is hard because it's a habit and it's something that you're used to doing. It takes time, but it's worth it. And the only way to quit is to notice yourself, notice yourself in the midst of doing it and then say, listen, I don't want to be like that. Remind yourself not to do that. Don't tempt others to join you in commiseration. Don't be tempted to join them in commiseration. And your awards, your rewards for doing this will be swift and certain, okay? And when you start changing, everyone around you changes. It's a ripple effect. It's called the organism theory. And I hope that you guys will get committed to this. Thanks, Natasha. I love you so much. <laughs> Okay, look at this, the vein again. See, you guys got me. Love you all. Um, so, uh, if you want more of this mentorship, on my fan page, every Monday, we have the Monday Morning Ignition Call. I am committed to doing a live stream every day, five days a week. I like to do it sometime in the midday or afternoon. So, if you're not available, you don't see, and you don't see my um, post that I'm live, then you can always check back in in the evening and see those recorded posts right there um, on my newsfeed. And here's the cool thing. On my blog, eliseleininger.com, which by the way, I'm going to invite you. If you can think of a, a better um, website or URL for me, that would be amazing because I think Elise Leininger is hard for people to spell and they can't find my blog and my blog is so good. And on my blog, you can subscribe to receive one of my free downloads and to be on my email list, which will give you, I always shoot out a quick reminder when I go live and when I do that Monday morning ignition call. So if you've been missing my live calls or the ignition calls, just go to EliseLeininger.com. If someone can type that in the comments below, E-L-I-S-E-L-I-N-I-N-G-E-R.com. <laughs> oh, Michelle, I like that one. Um, if you could just type that in for me, somebody, and then you guys can just go there to join that newsletter list, and you'll get reminded of when I go live and do these um, this teaching. I do it every single day because I'm so passionate about it, and I want you guys to be super on, t on point and on fire for change, not only for yourselves, but for your family, your community, and that's where we impact the world, that right there is big stuff. So if that scares you, you just work on yourself, okay? Right here, that's where we start. That's where I started. So thank you guys. Oh, look at you all coming up with some fun ideas. I love that, okay, we're gonna look through those. My website is eliselightinger.com and we're gonna see if any of those URLs are available, okay? All right, bye, we'll talk to y'all soon. Have a great day and get out there and be the change.